apply to Boston. At a laboratory in Massachusetts, scientists are on a manhunt for a criminal. An FBI wanted poster arrives from headquarters. The wanted man's name is Thomas O'Connor. Thomas, that's our guy. O'Connor has committed bank fraud, embezzling hundreds of millions of dollars from banks around the world. They enter O'Connor's face into the recognition database. Using facial recognition software tied to millions of webcams placed on streets and buildings around the world, a global hunt begins. Fly to Tokyo. In each city, government-run web cameras scan the streets, looking for a match. London. Toronto. They get a tip that O'Connor just entered the United States through New York. Look at the buildings. Yeah, of course. Every building in the city appears in three dimensions, allowing a bird's eye view. Let's check out the banks. Lair, banks. They ask the computer to show the location of every bank in New York. I think we need to focus on one area, head yeah. up Broadway. Let's check out this stream video. Okay. They scour Times Square, but there's no sign of O'Connor. They head to the financial district, I'm going to take this area. Okay, that's actually event. quite a big area here. A lot of activity in this area. It would be good to check if there's any webcam around this area. Thousands of webcams scan for a glimpse of O'Connor. And then, pay dirt. You have word. A sensor goes off. A camera spots O'Connor in the hallway of a bank building. He walked this hallway only seconds before. They have found his face amid a sea of millions of other faces. The report says that he's around this area. From the command room, they dispatch patrol units to the scene and make the arrest. That's perfect. This control room is fictional, but all these technologies already exist. They just